uh, today I'm going to do a whole video showing you the stuff I bought in Germany. Now I didn't get to buy, well it doesn't seem like I bought a lot but when I look at all the stuff I kind of did buy a lot but a lot of little things and I definitely didn't get as much stuff as what I would like to have bought but that was because of suitcase requirements, suitcase restrictions. Uh, so I will get on with it, I'm trying to make this video too long. Before I even left Sydney Airport, <laughs> I was um, buying some snacks and I found this um, Urban Ritual Island Citrus Summer Scents Perfume. And it's in a plastic tube and it's like 20 ml, so it's a great uh, for flying. And I was so glad I bought this, I've already gone through like half the tube, half of it. Absolutely love it, beautiful, beautiful scent, um, especially for summer, but... Oh, so nice. Um, it was so great just to have on the plane because I could put my deodorant on and this and I felt like I wasn't going to so stick. Over there, didn't have a lot of opportunity to buy cosmetics, mainly because Kevin really didn't want me to. I did get into, I think it's called BD or DB, one of those. Uh, kind of like um, a Priceline or a Boots or a, what's the American equivalent, um, Walgreens perhaps, like a, um, so they sell... Yeah, mainly cosmetic stuff, um, some chemist sort of items, things like that. The chemists in Germany are really different and they are just basically medications. Uh, all behind the counter, um, they are called an apocryphy, which I think is, I love it. I thought that was so nice. And they were just set out beautifully, like really beautiful stores. And very helpful people in there, but they just have a very, very limited range of some skincare stuff. So not like our chemists here that have everything. So anyway, so um, it had been recommended to me to buy Catrice Cosmetics. Oh, my throat's getting a bit sore. Uh, so they had that in this DB or BD, I can't remember what they are. So I managed to get a few things there and I'm pretty happy with what I've got. I haven't had to play with everything, but some of the things I have, actually most of it I've had to play with. So the first thing I got was an all round concealer. I love this because it had all the different concealers in one strip, which is really good. So. I thought, that, I thought that would be handy to have because I haven't really got um, a good concealer. Well, I've got one. I don't use concealers a lot, but I thought that was a great one to have. You know, five different ones in one go. So it tells you, you know, we all like, you know, you know, I like the makeup for dummy stuff. It's got the directions on the back of what to use for what situation. So perfect for me. I also picked up this um, Smoky Eyes set, and this is in Love, Peas, and Harmony. Now I actually wanted to go back and get some more and someone said I should get the, um, my dad's trimming trees and blowing the vacuum driveway things. I hope it's not too distracting. I'll keep going. Um, so this is the, that kit and I'd hope to go back and actually buy some more and someone had recommended to me to get their um, like nude palette. But I couldn't find a shop again. Like not when I could get into the shop. But we walked past a few but when I had time to shop I couldn't find one. So unfortunately I didn't get back there. So... Um, yeah, so they're really nice colours and I have tried a few of them. So the last one must be a liquid eyeliner, it is, yeah. Well, I think so anyway, it's sort of a, meant to be for eyelining. And again, makeup for dummies on the back. <laughs> In fact, I also got from them, um, I was trying to find some, Oh, I forgot to know. It's okay. Um, I was trying to find some things I didn't have, like some different products from them. So I found this waterproof top coat. Makes every mascara waterproof. And I gave it a trial the day we went to the concentration camp. Because <laughs> I took away normal mascara. I wasn't planning to wear mascara that day, knowing that it would be an emotional day. And when I saw this, I thought, well, I'm going to grab that. Because that's, um, I mean, I'm going to take one um, mascara and then add the waterproof top coat the day they needed it. So I did use it that day and yeah, I had no problems with my mascara smudging off. So that was really good. So happy with that. I don't know whether you can get things like this in Australia. I've never seen them. It's sort of meant to just enhance your lip shade a bit. But to me it's more, oh, that looks bright orange and it looks like a clear sort of jelly sort of uh, colour. I don't think it's really coming up on that. It's sort of really clear. Um, but I think it does give more of an orange hint. So it's a lip gloss, ultimate lip gloss. One shade fits all. So it was, it was, it was just uh, like, the, so, ugh, can't talk. I still understand that it would just um, enhance your natural lip colour. So 
So I thought that was fun and I've used it and that's good and it's very um, a nice rich moisturising uh, product too. So that's in a nice case and it's got sort of well, this Catrice all over it. So that was good again, I haven't seen that in Australia so I'm just trying to get some different things. The other thing I got from there, from that brand, from Catrice, was two nail polishes. Oh, are you surprised that I bought some nail polish? Surely not, no. Okay, so I've got these two colours. Which, oh, I've got one on now, you can see at the moment. Now, this is the Denim Moor. <laughs> They've got cute names, let's go and see that. You can focus on that one, Denim Moor. And that is that colour. That's a really nice colour. I have one of these both just once, and I do find they chip, but I'm waiting to see. Um, my nails are pretty horrendous at the minute, they're very brittle. So whether that's just causing the chipping, because even when I did another polish, it chipped as well. So I'm not saying it's the nail polish at the moment. Um, I'm hoping not. And again, I had wanted to buy more of these because I love the colour range. But um, I'll give you an update, I guess, probably if they make it into my autumn favourites, then they're not chipping. <laughs> and then this colour is Petropolitan. So they have cute name. So that's it's a green with... um. A bit of a blue silvery uh, glitter in it just a fine glitter that came off really easily so that's good so that was all I got from Catrice uh, oh no one more thing sorry I ended up buying a brush a face powder brush so I actually used it on holidays for my face powder <laughs> because I didn't take one away and I need I was kind of trying to use one brush for two purposes and it didn't really work so when I saw these I thought okay I will we'll grab that and I haven't done my research, but I'm pretty sure Catrice would that would be a that would be a synthetic um, hair. I certainly hope so. I'm pretty sure most of the EU brands seem to be um, cruelty free. And my last Catrice purchase, which I couldn't find, and I just found it on the floor here, <laughs> uh, was this eyebrow pencil, and it's a really really nice colour. So I'm glad it turned up because I couldn't find. It. I thought it was lost. Ah, uh, let me see. It's called Date with Ashton. I, I love the the names of this Catrice company uses so it's got you just your pencil on the end and it's a pretty it's a really good match for me and this little brush on the end so I, I was actually using it overseas and it's yeah really nice. I did have a cold overseas still got a bit of a stiffle but it's pretty much gone now but I didn't have my aloe vera tissues which is all I use at home so I ended up with a really really red nose so I was trying to use different things and nothing much was working and we went to a very high-end department store there called Car de Wee, and you really want to pay, wouldn't want to buy much there because it's so expensive. But I did go to the L'Occitane stand and I picked up just um, two things. So I got the um, Shea Butter. I've got one of these at home and I never thought to take it with me. I will now in the future because that was just perfect. I just um, got rid of my nose, my red, just cleared up the red skin. And I could just, it's not very glossy, so I could just take it with me and during the day pop it on when my nose was feeling dry. And then within a day, I think that the redness had gone and the dry skin had gone too. So that was brilliant. <laughs> And I also picked up a foot cream while I was there as well, just a small one. Uh, I didn't have, I had a little tiny one which I used up in the first few days and then I needed another one which I've already sort of gone through half of that. Uh, I'd wanted to get this at the airport and we didn't have time at the airport to go to the L'Occitane shop there. So I got that in the department store. And they're really nice, it's a very high end store. I, yeah, not the kind of shop I would normally shop in. But I um, actually found a little perfume sample of a Chloe, um, a C by Chloe it was, a little sample which I've used up already, which meant that I decided I wanted to go and buy some C by Chloe from a different department store <laughs> um, in, I think actually in Salzburg, Austria that I purchased this. I actually got a bit off, I think it was cheaper elsewhere. But anyway, so that's, just, that's a little bottle. So it's a really nice, um, more of a spring Sort of a scent but I, I really like that so the little sample was worked out well I, I made a sale so I sampled a few perfumes and I sampled the um Roberto Cavalli um aqua which is this one and I decided not to buy it which is probably a good move because later on back in Germany we went into um, a perfumery and they had the perfumes um quite a bit cheaper so I decided I would buy it since I found it I know it looks a lot cheaper than what I'd get it for in Australia. So, and I love the other one of these, so I decided to get that too. So, isn't the blue bottle beautiful? So, yeah, so I've got two little perfumes. I just bought the small bottles because 
I now have quite a rather large perfume collection, so I thought small bottles would be the way to go. My last sort of cosmetic um, skincare, whatever um, purchases made at Bangkok Airport on the way home in a Boots Chemist of all places. I was quite excited to see Boots Chemist. <laughs> So I went and I bought this, I didn't know what to really get, but I wanted to kind of get something being that it was boots. Um, so I've got this Sanctuary Spa Covent Garden kit. And then a cute little bag. And it has in it um, a body butter. I'm not sure the, I can't remember what the fragrance was. I think it was kind of an orangey sort of a scent. So it had the body butter and then it had a body wash, a little body scrub. That will certainly go in a travel kit, I think. That's perfect size. And a luxury bath float, but it's actually like a bubble bath. So the bath float, but in liquid form. So that was interesting. Just trying to think if I can find what, here we go. I'll find what sort of fragrance it is. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it's got a sort of citrus tone. So I've got that. And so it's getting a bit grumpy with me, so I just quickly picked up something else. So I picked up this, and I think it is a Boots no, it's not Boots brand. It was 17i. I've never heard of it. So I really don't know anything about the company at all. Uh, it said Justin. <laughs> so, okay, I'll grab that. And this is called Midnight Smoke. So as I said, I really don't know anything about it. But I thought it had pretty colours. It's got like a glittery bronze, a glittery blue, and then the brown. Oh, I'll show you the game. Oh, yeah, all reflection of my garden. I went to um, Douglas, which is, I think it's a, like a department store, but when I went into it, it was just, it was just cosmetics. And there was, I don't think there was any other floors, but I saw one later on and it had multiple floors with clothes and stuff like that. So whether the one I went into was just cosmetics or not, I don't know. And I picked up a few things. I picked up some nail polishes. <laughs> um, so I got two, as you can see, two by London ones. Um, I liked that they had samples, you could actually, and luckily I had no nail polish on the day I was in there, so I was actually able to um, swatch them, so that was really good. So this one is bluey. So this bluey is like, it's a kind of dark teal. Uh, can't really describe it. Let me show you the colour. So it's a really pretty colour. And the other one was Disco Biscuit, which I'd, um, I can't remember if I've seen it somewhere or I've read about it. I think I've seen it and I had it on, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice colour. So it's a pink with a glitter in it, um, like a blue glitter in it. It does need a couple of coats, this one though, but it's kind of, um, yeah, it's fun. Definitely I'll probably keep that on more for summer, but the other colours I can sort of wear now. Tony and Guy um, Shine Gloss Serum. I just found my hair was just, um, I don't know, it just was starting to feel not quite it's normal so I'm going to take it's been downstairs it's just starting to feel a little bit sort of dry on the ends um I was using a different brand of conditioner so possibly it's that to the one I had been using before that's one I've used you know a year or so ago so I don't know so I got that and I was quite enjoying that as well